got the hair off and make you go faster? Yeah, it was weighing me down a little bit, you know. <laughs> it was like five extra pounds, so I had to cut that up real quick. Overall, how'd you feel like you did today? I feel like I did good, you know. Had to do the very cool with the board, the 5105 five and three cone because I wasn't able to do it at the combine because I tweaked my hamstring. And I jumped to 28.5, uh, 8.7. I ran a 7.6 and three, three cone, and then I slipped on the 5.10.5 five, and ran a 485. So I feel like I could have ran like a 4.7, 4.6 on that. But you know, for offensive linemen, it was good. I was looking at the times, and I was in the top 10 for both of them. I have a little um, the offensive line from the combine. So I feel like if I would have done there, it would have been just as good, you know. But I felt good about today. What position are you looking at? Uh, before it was right. Just right guard, but I just worked out as a right tackle and right guard today with the Patriots and Eagles. So I feel like more coaches are starting to see me as a right tackle now, which is good because I can play both. But I love playing tackle. You know, coach talked to you yesterday about the move last year in the fall camp, the move you from guard to tackle, it kind of helps your marketability, marketability a little bit. I mean, do you agree? Oh yeah, I feel like being being able to play um, tackle this year after one year, you know, really helped me show my athleticism so I could get into the position I'm in today. And if I was at guard, it would have been good. But, you know, at tackle, you're on an island going against Tim Williams and Jonathan Allen and Miles and Data every single day. So that really pushed me and like, got the best out of me. And I was able to showcase my talent um, during the season because I mean, we had the right tackle. So I was able to just do my thing, you know. Well, who's some teams you've worked out for and maybe some work on schedule? Um, I visited with the Saints for two days. Early March, um, I worked out with the Buccaneers, the Cardinals. Um, I met with the Eagles yesterday. I met with the Browns. Um, I have a Jaguars workout next week. I have a New York Giants visit on the 17th. Um, I meet with the Patriots after I get done here. Um, and then there's been some other teams here, and I'm an agent, like the Raiders, want to, I think, want to bring me out on a visit and some other things. So, I mean, my schedule's starting to get a bit packed now, you know, but, you know, I, it's so good because any team that I could talk to and work out for, you know, it's great for me. What have you kind of been hearing from teams, um, what they've been telling you about what they like about you, what think you have The only thing that um, isn't negative for me is the inexperience, you know. Being there, just playing one year is something teams are looking at like, oh, he's a developmental guy or is it a project? And I don't see myself as a project offensive lineman because I want to come in right away and learn to play book and play. And I feel like I'll be able to do that no matter what team I go to. But that's just been the one knock on my game, just my inexperience. But other than that, my power and strength is what I think they like and just my mentality and my way to play the game. What's it been like going up against Miles in practice? Any stories, you sure? Um... <laughs> I mean, he red, he made me get redshirted my first year here, you know, because I remember playing right tackle and he kind of threw me when I was playing right tackle, so they redshirted me after that. But I mean, that benefited me because I'm here right now, you know. But you know, I, I like to say I beat Miles, but Miles, you know, is Miles, and you know, it's, Miles is Miles. That's the only thing I can say about Miles. You know, he's Miles Garrett, you no know, Superman, do his own thing. You know, I I did good against Miles. And then going up against Miles and Dede, preparing me to go up against Tim Williams and Tack McKinnis and all these other pass rushers. But no one's like Miles and Dede. I think they're the best two pass rushers in the country.